What I know of my uncle, I know from stories spoken from mouths unaware little ears were listening, from his mother, from his brother, who didn't know that I understood. His name is John, but he prefers Robert. He is Native American. He was born in 1968, which makes him 48, the youngest of his siblings. He was adopted. <coughs> He bleaches his hair so the gray doesn't show, and the color ends up matching mine, and he looks a little ridiculous, but I don't have the heart to tell him. <laughs> at age four, he would leave his bed in the middle of the night to throw eggs up at the ceiling, trying to get them to stick. My dad still holds all the times he had to clean that up over his head. At 12, he left his room in the early morning hours and crashed the family car about half an hour later. At 17, he received a 25 to life sentence for murder. The only thing I know to be completely true about my uncle, the only thing I've heard about him from his voice and not whispers behind hands, he wrote a book, a children's book. My uncle wrote a children's book called The Burial of Crazy Mouse while incarcerated. <laughs> It's the story of a village of mice terrorized by an eagle. The eagle would swoop down into the village and snatch up the mice whenever it pleased. The villagers would cower in fear, but do nothing. Th there was one little mouse, the smallest, the weakest, the youngest of his siblings. When his mother was snatched from the village, his siblings turned, bowed their heads, and mourned, but did nothing. This little mouse, the smallest, the weakest, the youngest of his siblings, went out to save his mother. The other mice in the village called him Crazy Mouse, crazy to scream and shout, crazy to seek justice, crazy to love so fiercely. Though Crazy Mouse was too late to save his mother, he was not too late to save his village. At the same time, the eagle's talons ripped into Crazy Mouse. Crazy Mouse's stick pierced the eagle's chest. They both looked at each other one last time as they died. Last summer, when I went to go visit my uncle with my dad, he asked me to publish this story, to tell the world of Crazy Mouse and the eagle. I was terrified. I could not imagine telling any child this story of flesh torn from bone, of a dead mother, of murder and betrayal. I thought it was crazy. I thought he was crazy. Crazy.